Admittedly, it doesn't look like a holiday resort, this new prison at Blunderston, but by the old standards, it's a home from home. The gym is one thing illustrating the fresh approach to the treatment of criminals. Those holes show that it's also used as a cinema. The separate Roman Catholic chapel has no hint of prison about it. In fact, Blunderston has been planned to exclude the grim, punitive atmosphere as much as possible. It's the first jail built in England since 1912. That's 51 years ago. Ideas have changed a lot in that time. Many believe that to deprive the prisoner of liberty is sufficient punishment, and that by treating him decently, he can be turned into a good citizen. By closed-circuit TV on each floor, a prison officer keeps an eye on the cell corridors, which means an economy in time and staff. He can see what's going on just by switching on the appropriate camera. The governor, 43-year-old Eric Tandro, hopes for the rehabilitation of criminals. The country can't afford a system that manufactures old lags. The ironwork is a big improvement on bars. If a cynic were to say this is luxury compared with some old seaside boarding houses, the answer would be that nobody's on holiday for five or ten years. Blunderston is a prison, as the fences and barbed wire show. The underworld isn't going to queue up for places, 